Hello beautiful Scorpios and welcome to the Ebony Tarot. Thank you all so much for your likes, your shares, your comments and your subscribes. I really do appreciate it. If any of you would like to book a personal, you know what to do. Everything is in the description box below. Okay, oh my goodness, I forgot to put my jewellery on. So I just finished braiding my hair and I took all my jewellery off. So one second please and thanks. Okay, so... I've already cleansed all the relevant energy and asked the relevant questions. So we're just going to be doing a general reading for you today. We're going to be seeing what is coming towards you, what you need to know, family, love, a friend or foe. Please remember that the energies in the readings can go vice versa. So just take what resonates, which then just switch the roles, do what you got to do, whatever you don't got to do, however it's come at me. <laughs> in the comments, okay? Okay, so the overall energy we have for you, my beautiful Scorpios, is brotherhood. Okay, it reads seeking help, friendship. At the bottom of the deck, we have that bitch. Okay, it reads flirting, playfulness, socializing, the center of attention. Okay, so what I'm getting from this is that for some of you, I feel like you could be seeking um, help or guidance from friends. Um, I want to say about a Leo or about somebody who... Um, is your center of attention or maybe you're trying to get somebody's attention it's kind of like you know if you're trying to like um you know move to someone or chat someone up you could be like trying to get advice or tips from your friend like oh how do i speak to her or how do i speak to him what do i say okay um for others of you you could be seeking advice about how to gain more attention and more popularity so maybe you're, you're thinking about um how to become more confident oh my god i put this on this hand it feels weird sorry <laughs> i mean such a libra oh my goodness Okay, never mind. Yeah, so um, what was I saying? Yeah, so some of you could be seeking um advice about something. Maybe you're spending a lot of time with friends also. Okay, you could be socializing, just spending time. But I feel like you're trying to... um, I feel like, because, you know, he's kind of like looking at him and she's kind of there. I feel like you're, 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 you're trying to seek guidance or advice about somebody because you want their attention pretty much. Or this is, this is what somebody's doing about you okay am i making sense i feel like i'm making am i making sense okay sorry guys <laughs> i don't know what's wrong with me okay you could be you, this could be how you're behaving as well you're like oh my god i don't know what's wrong with me maybe somebody makes you really nervous maybe you think someone's really attractive okay this could also be something to do with like popularity online so you could be um trying to kind of like work out how you can become more popular online and maybe like you know you have some kind of mentor or somebody that's like got a lot of experience and they're kind of like showing you the ropes or telling you what to do okay but let's just see let's just see some of you could be having a lot of fun you know flirting you know socializing with like friends maybe you're going out places okay but yeah i feel like you're trying to get some kind of advice here but you know let's just see where this goes so this is for my beautiful scorpios Okay, so we have I am protected that wanted to come out. Okay, so yeah, so maybe um maybe there's somebody that like you blocked or somebody you're not speaking to or somebody that you're very protective over, or you could be um seeking advice on how to kind of protect yourself. Okay, or maybe the person that you want to approach is quite guarded, so you're just not really sure. So you're kind of like, okay, what do I do? What do I say? Okay, because I'm kind of getting like defensive energy with that card, especially at the bottom of the deck. We have I am wild and free. So um Maybe somebody's a bit feisty and you're kind of bit like, oh, I just, I want to say something to the person, but I just don't know how they're going to come at me. Okay. So let's just keep going. Okay. So what is coming towards my beautiful Scorpios? Okay. What, what, what's going on? There's a lot. There's a lot. Okay. So we got, right. I'm going to keep these two because it kind of goes with what I'm saying. Okay. So we got, I am powerful. This is actually... Uh, my tower card in this deck but it's kind of like a good tower okay and then we got i am confident so yeah so i feel like you are trying to seek help when it comes to your confidence okay i feel like we you know with the magician at the bottom of the deck could be dealing with an aries another scorpio i want to say a leo or an aries okay or a sag any fire sign okay but i feel like um it's kind of like you want to manipulate a situation or you want a situation to go in your favor. So you're trying to like, you know, how do I gain power over this person or how do I take my power back or how do I become more powerful, okay? So this could be anything. You could actually be um seeking advice about magic itself, okay? Or about um trying to... Okay, one second. 
Sorry, my phone just went off. Yeah, you could be trying to seek advice about um how to like, how can I say? Maybe there's something that you want to conjure up or there's something that like you're, there's something that you're putting together and I feel like you need somebody's, um, you need knowledge. But I feel like it's about attracting someone towards you. I feel like you want someone's attention and maybe your scorpionic charm isn't working or you're feeling less than confident. Maybe you've met your match in a situation, okay? Now, you could just be feeling really confident. You know, you could be feeling like you're that bitch. Like, yes, maybe everybody's coming to you to seek um, guidance and support because you just be knowing shit. Like, you've got the magic, you've got the power, okay? But let's just see where this is going. Let's use this deck. So please clarify, I am protected. So this is for my beautiful Scorpios. So we've got courage, yeah. <laughs> so someone's here again, Leo energy and creation. It's, it's like someone here's shy or they need to be courageous when it comes to a situation. Did you do something, Scorpio, or somebody doesn't know how to approach you? Maybe you're, because Scorpios, they're quite intense, okay? So it's, it's like you want, you know, it's like you need a confidence boost, okay? You just don't know what to do about a situation. I feel like it's something that you definitely think about at night. You could actually be asking, like, your spirit guides for advice also, okay this could be like stage fright as well maybe you have to perform or there's something you need to kind of um i don't know maybe you've got a position where you're like leading people and it's your first time doing it and you just don't know what to do you kind of need like a prep talk okay please clarify um i am powerful we've got connection connection to nature yeah so you could be trying to get advice from a taurus okay balance or a libra or maybe you want to balance something out with a libra or a Taurus. But yeah, you're trying to connect. Maybe you're trying to connect to like the um nature itself to try and calm yourself down. Or you could be literally using nature in some kind of ritual, I want to say. Like I feel like you're using like Venusian energy to kind of like bring something f towards you. Or you, you really, there's somebody that you really want to speak to. But you just don't know how to approach because you know they, these are like two opposite energies here one's kind of just like powerful and intense and one's kind of like um i want to say dainty but that's not the word i was looking for that's what i heard maybe you think someone's really dainty but one's more um more nurturing more loving more peaceful more calm maybe you're trying to work out how you can be a more um you know peaceful sign you're trying to tap into your opposite energy taurus okay Oh, okay. Please come for I am confident. Okay, that. I don't even know where these cards came from. It's not even in this deck. Please come for I am confident. We've got matter, my art, justice, and reinvention. Okay, I'm going to keep these two. Normally, I just take one card, but I'm going to keep these two. And at the bottom of the deck, we've got enlightenment, okay? So, yeah, so it's kind of like you're trying to seek guidance about something um, or you've become enlightened about something. Maybe you kind of feel like you're a bit destructive and you're trying to temper yourself and, like I said, work for more Venusian energy, okay? But I feel like you're working on trying to reinvent yourself, trying to be a bit different. There's definitely a Libra that attention that you're trying to get or you're trying to just stay balanced and calm, Okay, you could be trying to implement more color into your life as well. Because like I said, this is quite like a dark card. I mean, she is, you know, wearing colors, but there's something to do with beauty here. Maybe you're trying to beautify yourself. Okay, but I feel like you want confidence to approach someone or to do the right thing, I'm hearing. Okay, could be dealing with an Aquarius as well. Okay, so this is something to do with creativity or... Like I said, trying to get somebody's attention. Maybe you're trying to uh, make peace with someone or something. Okay. Very interesting. Oh, my goodness. Okay. My angel deck just fell on the floor and I'm not going to pick it up. So we'll just, that will just have to stay where it is. <laughs> okay. So please come find courage. This is for my beautiful Scorpios. What are you trying to be courageous about, Scorpios? Oh, yeah, forgiveness. 
yeah so like i said i feel like you want someone's forgiveness or you want someone to forgive you and you're you're asking advice like okay how do i get forgiveness from this person what do i do what do i say okay yeah because with the the protection the courage and the forgiveness yeah maybe you block someone or somebody blocked you i feel like you just you want to speak to someone you want to approach somebody this could be anyone's could be a family member a friend a lover but i feel like i feel like you're afraid that someone's not going to forgive you for something that you've done okay but i feel like you really want happiness with this person or in this situation please clarify um connection to nature gaia can i just have one card thank you trust yeah maybe you broke somebody's trust or you want somebody to trust you or you're trying to trust the situation you're trying to trust the process with Gaia here it's kind of like um you know I'm hearing letting letting nature take its course because yeah you know you're quite a destructive sign so it's kind of like things are not your way or because you know um Taurus you know they're kind of like they're a patient sign so maybe you don't have patience if something's not going your way or something's just you know if something's too difficult you're just ready to just destroy everything I mean you do rule death so maybe you kind of destroyed something and you want to rebuild it because you wasn't trusting the process. Something was kind of like, I feel like you lost your patience here or you lost your cool. Um, and you're reflecting on the moment. Okay. Yeah. Or you want forgiveness for not trusting someone or being less than trustworthy. Maybe somebody put their trust in you. Maybe somebody was relying on you to return or to do something for them and you didn't. So now, now you don't know what to do. Maybe you're trying to do magic and it's like the situation isn't working. Okay, we've got happiness that wanted to come out. Yeah, on top of um, justice and reinvention, we have confidence. So, yes, yeah, so I feel like um, feel confident in knowing that something is going to go in your favor or, you know, you're going to be happy in a situation. Or maybe you're thinking about a way to kind of make someone happy. Okay, but I feel like something really makes you happy. If this is a person, there's something about their eyes, like someone's got really beautiful eyes here. Or someone is really creative or they're just really gorgeous okay and then we got flow at the bottom of the deck so yeah i'm hearing to like to go to go with the flow okay right so let's see where this is going so this is for my beautiful scorpios yeah we got the spiritualist here so you definitely could be seeking come some kind of guidance okay could definitely be dealing with the taurus here this is equivalent to the hierophant okay but your spirit you're seeking some kind of spiritual um maybe you're going through some kind of spiritual lesson but i feel like you're i feel like you're really trying to work out how to do the right thing in a situation okay maybe you need to respect someone you need to honor them more or you want forgiveness for not respecting or not being committed to something. Maybe you promised somebody something or you promised that you were going to, you know, stick by someone or do something or do something to the end. And I feel like you kind of, I don't know, I feel like somebody kind of um deserted something here. And now they want forgiveness from the divine, from the person. Okay, they want to honor and respect whatever it is that they said that they wanted to commit to. Okay, we've got, yeah, we've got the nightest of emotions at the bottom of the deck so that's my apology card somebody coming in with an apology or a romantic offer so it could be something to do with love but it's not have to be okay so we got the three of pentacles okay so yeah you want to work on something could be a capricorn but it's not have to be maybe you're speaking to a capricorn or about a capricorn but i feel like there's something that you really admire or you really admire somebody's work or you're watching someone at work okay or like i said you're working with mother nature literally taurus energy again Okay, this is like my reap what you sow card, but also it's about having patience and waiting for something to develop. Okay. But there's somebody here that you really admire. I definitely feel like it's your opposite sign. Or someone that's very Venusian. I'm hearing you can trust me. Or maybe you broke someone's trust when it came to like a third party situation. But third party could be anything. The third party could be your friend that you're speaking to. Okay, what do we have here? And then we've got the um, Empress of Wisdom. So yeah, definitely could be dealing with a Libra, but it's not have to be, okay? But you're really thinking about what you need to do, what you need to say, okay? I feel like you want to bring clarity to a situation as well. And then we've got the Knight of Wealth at the bottom of the deck. So yeah, I feel like you want to, you, it's like you want to give somebody something or you want to say something to someone, but you're procrastinating here. 
okay or you're, you're thinking quite um methodical when it comes to your approach being quite meticulous you know it's typical scorpio shit okay <laughs> um let's see where this is going you could be speaking to somebody professional as well maybe just trying to seek professional help when it comes to a situation but she looks like she's thinking about what makes her happy okay and you know the sword is above her head that's what's going on in her mind her thoughts okay so i feel like you need to be clear concise and direct with somebody or about something okay and the ace of cups wanted to fly out so this definitely could be to do with love we have the emperor at the bottom of the deck okay so yeah this is kind of like oh oh my goodness one sec this is kind of like you know you want to offer your love to someone this is your energy or maybe some a love was given to you. This could be about music or anything. I feel like you committed yourself to something and you didn't take it seriously. Or maybe you abandoned it and you want forgiveness for that. You want to say sorry. Okay, or well, this may be what somebody wants to do with you. Because I would say it's a new love, but I don't think so with the forgiveness card. I mean, how is somebody who you don't know, what do I need to forgive you about? I don't know you. <laughs> okay, so yeah, I feel like you... you want to express how you really feel. So yeah, you're trying to, you're seeking help, trying to get advice on how to get this person's attention mm. okay are you in your feelings scorpio please come find the free of well are you we've got the guru yeah so again hierophant energy so you're trying to 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 to, to come with like a calm approach Okay, you could really be like delving into your spirituality. Maybe you work with dark energies and you're trying to kind of like work with a lighter energy because you're like, you know what? I'm tapping into the darkness too much, man. Or I'm a bit fucked up. I need to calm down. Or this could be somebody else. Okay. But yeah, I feel like you definitely want to make peace or you're going to, to some kind of sensei or someone who you really respect. Saying like, you know, how do I work this situation out? What do I do? I also feel like you're definitely paying your respects to, to the divine as well. So you could be giving like offerings, working with like herbs flowers nature actual tree bark but yeah there's that offer that you want to give somebody okay so i'm hearing like a sincere apology or a sincere message okay i just want to card one card please please come by the empress of wisdom here it is again that page of pentacles so this could be actually something physical and tangible that you want to give to someone and again look in this card the pentacles is peace so this is like a peace offering okay He's offering peace. And then we've got the four of pentacles at the bottom of the deck. So it could be dealing with the Capricorn. does not have to be okay. But I feel like you've been holding back. But at the same time, you can't let go of something. Definitely could be to do with somebody that you love or something that you love to do. Okay. Because, yeah, it's kind of like the procrastination here. Okay. Together, this is the five of pentacles. So maybe you left somebody out in the cold or you feel abandoned. Okay. But it's kind of like, I feel like the person that you're speaking to, they're like, kind of like, just go with the flow. Go with the flow of how you feel. If you feel loving, if you feel like expressing, then do that. Okay, underneath that, we do have perfection. So, could be dealing with the Virgo here, okay? Um, so, additional information. This is quite a quick. Oh, it's not that quick. I'm thinking, should I go and get those cards that fell on the floor? One second, guys. I don't want you to... Oh, I don't want you to see... Um, my ass really <laughs> okay hopefully nothing popped out i am wearing leggings though for the first time okay so yeah because we need the angels up in this reading so angels and advice what angels and advice do you have so let's let's pull this first let's pull this first this is for my beautiful Scorpios. I'll be doing your love reading. Because if this is something to do with love, we'll see. On my other channel. If I don't do it today, it'll be tomorrow. Because I was having problems uploading on there. And I just I just got tired. So, yeah. I think, did I mention that in the beginning? I don't know. Okay, we've got, I let go and I trust the process. I know I'm being down, led down the best path. Yeah. So, like I said, you need to trust the process. Or do you want somebody to trust you? okay but it's like wherever your heart is leading you to go then just do that follow your heart okay we have everything in my life has happened for a reason there are no what ifs because the journey i have been on has always been the one meant for my highest good yeah give us another card please okay the same card wanted to come out give us a card 
This is for my beautiful Scorpios. My emotions are valid. I embrace and truly feel them all. Being in tune with my emotions is my strength. Yeah, like I said, I feel like something's getting you emotional, Scorp. And maybe you don't, Um, you're not used to expressing your emotions. You know, your emotions run deep. You are a water sign. But I feel like, like I said, however you're feeling, you need to go with how you're feeling. You know, when I think about flow, I think about water, currency. So what are you being led to do? What are you being led to say? Do that. I feel like maybe you seek advice for too much from people. And maybe that's the problem. You need to like learn how to think for yourself. Okay. And then we've got, I create my happiness. I choose to focus on the things that bring me joy. Yes, yeah, so I think somebody brings you joy here. It could be a Libra. Okay. And then we've got, I embrace all the incredible things that make me me. I am true beauty inside and out. Yeah, you're that bitch. Just remember that, you know, or that nigga, like whatever guy or girl watching this. Or this is how you feel about somebody else. Maybe you think that someone's really beautiful. Okay, so what, you know, spirit animals or angels are around you at this time? Okay, well, what's going on here? Let me have one card, please, and thanks. I want it to fall on the table. Okay, so we've got our angel. Um, how, do, how do you pronounce this? Sandalphon? Sandalphon. Sandalphon? Okay, I think he's the angel of blessings or like prayers. So maybe you're praying to your angels and you're asking, you know, for a situation to kind of... um. To settle out, you know. I feel like like I'm getting a vision of somebody out there old to like please divine, like I'll do right this time, or I understand my mission, or you know, because I feel like this is I feel like this is real spiritual. I feel like you have a connection with someone, regardless of whether it's platonic or romantic, but it's like a spiritual connection. This person was like brought into your life to kind of create magic with you and teach you about the ways and the laws of the universe. Maybe you disrespected the divine, you know, the divine son or daughter. So it's kind of like you just, you're praying for this person. But please look up that angel, you know, if you want more information. Because, you know, I don't have a I don't have a booklet with this deck. So, and then we've got, um, yeah, angel of vibration. So, yeah, you're trying to raise your vibration. You're trying to be a better person. Okay. Somebody around you vibrates really high also. And then we've got um, angels of communication. Yeah, so I feel like you want to speak to someone. Okay, you need to communicate if that's what you're feeling to do, like stop holding back or you could be communicating with your angels literally or like I said, this is you talking to to somebody, to your friend about what to do. But I feel like you know what you need to do. Okay, and then we've got a our angel um, Raphael at the bottom of the deck. I feel like you have the key to someone's heart or the key to, to your own closet. You have the key. Okay, so um, I hope you enjoyed the reading. I hope it resonated. Um, please do not hesitate to like, share, comment and subscribe toodles oh and um also go on my tiktok because i've posted all the readings i've done um general and love on there and um yeah okay bye <laughs>